Welcome to Elections 101 in 5, your dependable guide for simplified and concise information on Nigeria's 2022 Electoral Act and our electoral process. My name is Samson Itodo, and this show is brought to you by Yaga Africa and supported by the UNDP. And let's dive into the topic of the day. Who is a party to an election dispute? We went to the street to ask Nigerians and listen to their responses. Here is how some Nigerians answered this question when we asked them. I think it's those that have been um, wrongly not chosen as the correct candidate or those that were not, um, they felt cheated. If they are not satisfied with how the process went, they can take it to court or opposing bodies like um, other parties who also contested. They also have the right to take the whole thing to court. Very interesting responses from the street. Now, different categories of persons participate in elections, but not all of them can challenge or question the result of an election. The provision of Section 133 of the Electoral Act clearly spells out candidates and parties eligible to question or present an election petitions, as well as the parties that can be sued. One major condition that must be fulfilled is participation in the election. So only those who participate in an election can be parties to an election dispute. Now these persons include, number one, a candidate in an election, two, a political party that participated in the election, three, if the person filing the petition, if the person filing the complaints, you know, complaints of an INEC official, e.g. Electoral officer, presiding officer, and returning officer, the law does not require joining these officers or persons because the Electoral Commission and INEC is already made a respondent, you know, to the petition. So INEC is also a party, you know, in an election petition. These parties are considered necessary parties in an election petition they must be included in the petition, else the petition will fail. These necessary parties are statutory parties based on provisions of the Electoral Act. Now, let's break this further. The person or persons or a political party that initiates or files the petition is referred to as the petitioner. While the person or the party the petition is made against is called the respondent. The petitioner ordinarily would seek to establish that the candidate who was declared the winner was not validly elected or that he or she is entitled to be declared the winner. But the respondent, on the other hand, will include the person or the party who was declared the winner of the election. INEC is also a respondent by virtue of its role in the administration of elections. So it is important to note that a tribunal or court shall not entertain any petition that seeks to question an election result or a winner declared by INEC unless the person declared a winner is joined as a party. It is important because the law says for a successful petition, the person who was declared a winner must be listed as a party or joined as a party in that petition, if that petition must succeed. And that's Elections 101 in 5. Now you know parties to an election petition because joining wrong parties can lead to a failure of your petition. This information is important for you as a citizen to follow the election dispute resolution process on the 2023 elections. My name is Samson Itodo. See you next time.